Hey guys, it's Camo Kasuba here, and today we're doing the ultimate test. We got these trick worms, we got some sinkos, got some frogs, got some lizards, you know what I'm saying? We got these lesions, we got the um, little crawdaddies, and we got these little crappy jigs. We also have some lures that we might not use, we might, just depends, it'll be a surprise. Then we got a tank. And I guess the snail will rate how realistic it looks. And uh, we got a rod, fishing rod, and we're going to see what's going to happen. And because, you know, you see it in the water and you see what it looks like, but you don't truly see it because, I don't know, you just don't. And I get this question asked all the time, but I, I don't really get this question asked all the time, but it'll be pretty good. Here, here's what a Gary Yamamoto Senko looks like dangling all around being a Senko. You know how them Senkos are. Senkoing around. Yep. And there's a little bit of rocks and whatnot. Kind of makes it look a little bit more realistic. And I'm sure if there was a big bass in here, he'd, he'd snatch that up. I know if I was a big bass, I'd snatch up. I'd snatch that up. We got these. Check. Alright guys, now we got a little crawdaddy, a uh, wheelless rig. Let's see what happens. Yeah, if I was a big bass, I'd snatch that up. That's a realistic clue right there. <coughs> Go. That's what it looks like. Look at that. Yep. If there was a, f there's no fish in here. But if I was just walking around and I saw this, I'd be like, Wow! I didn't know you put a fish in here. Look how realistic that is. Super realistic. Basically. <laughs> 